That's the hardest riff I've probably ever written. Jesus. Oh. I'll, I'll allow you to introduce Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. What's up, everyone? Andrew Vayner here with Dean Lamb. Sick as hell. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to do bro. a different type of video I haven't done before on this channel. We're going to be looking at covers of both of our respective bands. I don't know if you've seen covers of Archfire material before, have you? I'm sure, I'm sure Many you times. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm very self-absorbed. So we're going to be watching those and kind of going over some of the riffs in more sure. detail if we feel like it. If we'll we see how to. it goes. We're just going to do whatever also, the hell we want. Like, and also, of course, the reason we're doing this is because we are going on tour together. So May 31st to June 30th, our bands will be touring with each other Archfire's headliner tour. You're can I tell the name of the tour? Yes, you can. It's called the Everything's Fucked Tour. And hey, it's a perfect yeah. name for the tour. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. So we're going to be out there with Aborted and Alluvial as well. It's going to be awesome. So if you're in the United States or Canada, please come out to the shows. We would greatly appreciate it. There's going to be links to that in the description and all that good stuff that you're used to every YouTuber saying. I can't wait. Yes. It's going to be a fun month of us hanging out on tour. Um, I mean, I've been watching you from afar. Uh, creeping around the bushes of your house. <laughs> and so I, I feel like I know you intimately, and when I say intimately, I really mean it. Uh, You're bringing out some kind of bushes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You know, we're gonna spend some time together. Um, of course, I won't really spend much time. I'm just saying that I'm yeah. gonna be in our bus and you'll be in your van and I'm gonna really pretend like I don't even know who you are yeah, during can, the tour. Can, can we use your shower? Yeah, yeah. No, fuck yeah. off. Uh, but it'll be fun <laughs> to hang out for a month and yes. all the bands are gonna be fun, so so whatever. But that, all that being said, I almost dropped my guitar. Let's check out some covers. We're gonna check out a Carcosa cover for the song called Desensis. Before we get on with the rest of the video, I just wanted to interrupt it really quickly to remind you that Sweetwater is sponsoring this video and in addition to sponsoring this video, we are doing a giveaway together for an Ernie Ball Music Man Majesty H string guitar. I still can't really believe I'm saying this. This is one of the most fancy eight string guitars on the market. It's worth over $4,000 and it can be yours. All you have to do is be a resident of the United States and enter in the description and pinned comment below. Do that and you are entered to win a guitar just like this one that I have right here. So you can start learning Carcosa and Archspire riffs. I do want to point out that this is a demo unit. So this guitar does have a couple of very small dings or scratches. There are some pictures of that on the screen right now. Honestly, I can barely tell and let's be honest you're gonna be winning a four thousand dollar guitar So you probably won't care once you get it So again, if you are interested in entering this giveaway You have two weeks as of the day this video is uploaded and the link to that is in the description and the pinned comment below Massive thank you to Sweetwater and Ernie Ball Music Man for hooking me up and sponsoring this video And with that being said, let's watch some covers. It's an instrumental cover. Now. How do you feel about instrumental covers? I love it. That's how I started my YouTube channel is doing my own instrumental covers. So I assume this person did everything like guitar, bass, drums, etc. Oh, that's um, what I'm, okay. That's the way I've done it always. Like I only play guitar, but you still have to program everything. It's a lot of work and I really respect that because I know it's very time consuming and especially taking the time to do something like that for my band. Awesome. So and let's see how is, it goes. And this is from yeah. Covers BVK nice. is the YouTube channel name. Ah, thank you so much for doing that cover. That's awesome. Yeah. Let's check it out. I don't know why I'm thanking you. That's nothing to do with me. <laughs> Thank you, Rescinded. So he's already playing a part that I don't even play live. This is all backtracked when we play it. He's playing a nine string. Is he? No, it's a eight. That's an eight? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I've seen these guys before now that I... Oh, okay. They look familiar. Cool. And they did actually get a bassist involved. That's awesome. It's funny when the bass, the, the bass headstock is tiny and the guitar headstock is massive. <laughs> it's like a tiny little headstock. And the guitar has like this massive kind of cool. Yeah, I feel bad for them having to tune their bass that low as well. It's such a pain in the ass. How low is it? Uh, E. Oh. Yeah. Uh, do you feel jealous about his hair? Because I uh, do. I mean, I still have hair, so oh, I'm good. Damn it, yeah, that's right. I don't. I just assumed you're bald. I don't know why. I could have looked up and like you're bald. Not. So I, get I am. I am bald, not by choice. Sick. Is that what you do? This sort of like pick slide? I don't do it that way, but I think it was tracked that way. Oh, okay. It's one of those songs where like. We have three people in our band who write music, and sometimes somebody does a noise, and I'm like, that was the coolest version of that noise, so we're just gonna copy paste it. Right, right, right. So I don't know who did that. The way I do it is like, like I just like hit all the Something. harmonics and slide my finger, yeah. and I'm like, sounds good to me. Oh, how's he even doing that? I assume they must have had to program the whammy, oh, which is how we do right. it as well. So you it's like a, whammy. so it's like a dive bomb. Ooh, that That's sick. Cool. Do you need the Digitech Lanny to do that? Uh, some kind of pitch shift device for sure. Does the Quad Cortex do that? Yeah, you can do it with that as well. You would need like an expression pedal or something, I think. Okay. So you can MIDI program? Yeah. 
Okay, I have one partner who said that I do that, and I fake it right now. I oh, gotta yeah. figure out how to do it. That was it. Uh, no. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's because there's uh, like a bunch of orchestral stuff happening oh. here. Fair enough. I wouldn't want to reprogram that either. Nice. Love the pick scrape. <laughs> it's very funny with nothing there. Okay, you got it. Yes. <laughs> I'm a very good musician. This is a very aggressive sounding mix too. Like. Yeah, it sounds great. Again, no samples, that's funny. <laughs> so what is there? Is it like... Just... It's like a voice sample in that section. It's from a movie called St. Maud. Would this, watching this, would, it, would this affect how you would play it live? What do you mean? Would, like watching it, you're like, oh, that's a good idea. Uh, no, because I think they pretty much are playing exactly how oh, I would play it already. Okay, okay. Other than that, like, fix scrape thing. Yeah, right, right, yeah. Cool, that was awesome. Sweet. Thank you guys so much for doing that. The I mix, really appreciate it. The mix is really good. It yeah. sounded super aggressive. Very cool. And yeah, props for using a bass guitar that's tuned to the proper tuning. A lot of people would not be willing to tune their bass that low. Right. It's always cool to see. It's a constant fight within the band. I always want to tune to the octave lower than that, right. which I understand why people don't. I get it. It's subsonic. It's how, how big are the frequencies at that point? Like oh, dude. 10, 15 It's feet? like 20 hertz. It's, yeah, it's yeah. not really audible. You're only yeah. hearing like the, the overtones, but I think it sounds yeah. cool personally. Yeah. Um, but other people in the band don't agree and we've argued about it a lot. So <laughs> props to you for believing in what I like. Wow, <laughs> we're really getting into the deep uh, details here. Well, exactly. yeah, uh, cover, covers BK. BBK, thank you so much for doing that. Yeah, Again, I, I don't know why I'm thanking you, but I, I appreciate it. Because so. you're doing my job. You've been doing my job all day. Oh, right, right. I I'm love doing your it. Job. Yeah, it's yeah, great. That's great. It makes my life easy. So now we're going to move on to an Archspire cover. So I'm going to take the lead naturally because okay. that makes sense with that makes the sense. theme we got going yeah, here. I'll shut up. So it's a cover of Involuntary Doppelganger mm -hmm. from, I'm not sure how to say this name, Jockey Gooey, maybe? Jockey Gooey. Jockey Gooey, sure. Oh, my old buddy Jockey Gooey. It says guitar cover both parts. Well, there are two parts. Okay. So that's, uh, yeah, Jockey Gooey, let's see what you got. Nice, all right, a very interesting intro so far. Pixar style intro? Yeah. Oh, oh he's got, what was it, Agile and a... I don't know what that other one is. Maybe yeah. like a Skurvison type thing? Oh, yeah. Thing? Yeah, his right hand really is fucking going, huh? <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, you're really, uh, you're really going. You're really doing the thing. Yeah. Yeah, those pinch remarks sound good. Yeah. That's a tough one to get. You really gotta, like... It's just real quick. Well, especially when you're playing everything so fast. Dude, he's wearing a suit. He's too. wearing a suit. That's sick. Wow. <laughs> he dressed up for the for the cover. It's a very That's special really nice. occasion. Wow. That effect is from Toby's Pod uh, XT Pod Pro X. Oh wow. Okay. No. Like the old the bean. I don't remember which one, but it's one that he had for. Uh, for an old guitar preamp and, or uh, modeler, and mm -hmm. we couldn't recreate it on anything else, so we just sample it. Yeah, but take it, it from cool. the demo, fuck okay. it. Yeah, this guy's really good. Yeah, this, this is guy's really clean. This is really sick. He's got a lot of control on his picking hand. This is a riff that switches between harmonic minor and harmonic major for mm -hmm. anybody's keeping track. I don't um, know why you would. He's <laughs> Toby Solo. Toby's great at writing. Catchy solos and melodies. This is my crappy solo. Yeah. It's cool to watch one dude play it. Play both, both parts. parts yeah. yeah. Like, would you know how to play Toby's parts no, if fuck. you had to? Yeah, no. okay. This also just makes me realize how many harmonies you guys actually have. Like, I guess I didn't really realize that you and Toby are doing different things almost all the time, which yeah. is very cool and very different than my yeah. band. Yeah, this part, he's playing better than I am. I can't play it that way. Me neither. So good for him. <laughs> good for him. And this is Toby's part. This guy's got uh, almost like a jazz, almost like Joe Pass, like right hand. He's got like a real wrist movement heavy right hand. And it's, and it's real different. And he's hyper picking just like I would. This guy is a fan of our band. He plays very similar to, in, a, in many cases, better than I am. Yeah, the song has a lot of leads and solos. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird because I, I haven't played the song for, you know, like, I don't know, like a, a few weeks or something like that. And it, it just, watching it now, I'm like, kind of listening to it for, with refreshed ears a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's cool, especially watching somebody else play it. Yeah. It puts a different, gives you a different perspective with the, with the riffs. It's, it's yeah. neat. He's playing it. As far as I can tell, exactly like the tabs. That's sick. Yeah. I don't understand the, the amount of dedication somebody has to, to have to yeah. learn a full song of an twice. band. Twice. Like this twice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And like memorize two entirely different parts. 
yeah. wild. Yeah, his right hand on the bottom guitar is just like, it's like, it's a, it's so, it's wrist heavy. Jockey Gooey, yeah, that's an amazing cover. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, one of the cool things about, yeah. Uh, that pinch harmonic. You have to like, if you, if you can see my right hand, I lean back my my picking hand to get this big mm. uh, part of my thumb here to, onto that string. Lots of pickup selecting switches yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, that's, that song is pretty fast song. In terms of Archbar catalog, it's not the fastest song, but it's one of the most relentless non-stop guitar riff songs uh, on that album, and maybe even that we've written. So yeah. it's it, a lot. I was curious, it seems like when I watch you guys play, it almost seems like the guitar solos, in a way, look the like they're easier than the almost rest of the always. song. That's very interesting, because it's like the total opposite of how yeah. most bands would approach songwriting, I would imagine. Yeah, I, there's a couple exceptions, but you're right. For the most part, it uh, the solos are more melody-driven, yeah. and then the riffs are plenty of melody-driven riffs also, but there's a lot of riffs that are just like... It, yeah. It's just like, ah! <laughs> so, anyway, thank you so much, yeah. uh, Jockey Huey, for that, that cover. I'm, I'm butchering your name, I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, let's continue. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nice. Okay, so next up we got a cover of Our Scars from Butcho Guitar Covers. I might have seen this one already, but honestly, I don't remember what I had for breakfast this morning, so fuck it. We're going to watch it again anyways. I was watching you through your uh, kitchen window and you had eggs. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm allergic to eggs, so you're lying. Oh, okay. Well, Looking that's probably liar. why you have hives all over your body, which I also saw. <laughs> but yeah, Our Scars, this is not a song I know. Sick. I don't know this song. Me neither. <laughs> oh, you know oh, okay, perfect. Well, it's new, for, new to both of us then. So this is from Butcho Guitar Covers. Yes, sir. Butcho. He really needs to clip his strings. Yeah. I, I mean, no offense, but... I'm not strings. a fan of that either. But it is very interesting watching him play that intro because he's picking every single note, and normally I play it... Oh! Like I only pick the open Selective zero. picking. I, I guess, I don't know. That's what Toast and Abassi calls it. Oh. Uh, I yeah. call it doing a lot of hammer-ons. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, like, that's so much more hand movement than I would normally do. It's right. cool. Like, definitely all the right notes, though, still. Would you consider yourself a lazy guitarist? I try to be. Oh, great. <laughs> Any possible way I can make my life easier, I'm going to take it. I'm kind of with you there. Interesting, okay. That's better than how I do it. Damn. Yeah, that's that's different as well. I think that, again, the way that I play that part, I made it easier for myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. But again, correct notes, different way to do it. What, what I like is he's playing with a lot of energy with his oh, right yeah. hand a lot of the time, and which is... I mean, it's a big part of having fun on guitars, playing with lots of energy, lots of force, you get more pick noise. Absolutely. It's, you know. And like, just looking like you're having a good time yeah, is yes. very important. Yeah. This part is also doing some stuff differently than I do it, but I also play this vastly different live than it's on the recording, and I understand, because the way that it was recorded makes no sense at all. Like, it's oh, like yeah. random, like, that's oh, just yeah. like copy-pasted in like parts, and it's like, <laughs> I don't even think you can do that. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so how much, how much emphasis do you put on playing the same thing in the studio and live? Like how much do you care? I don't really care that much That's cool. personally. That's cool. um, especially also because we have three, basically three guitarists in the band who all write parts right. and like there's stuff that Johnny writes which I'm like that sounds cool but I would play it this way right. but it sounds better when he plays it so he'll record it but then when I play it live I'm like well I'm gonna play it this way because I think it's easier. Hmm. Nice. This part pitch shifts all the way down to A0, love it. <laughs> yeah, this guy's enjoying playing with yeah. his cool. And I like watching him have fun doing it. Yeah. There's nothing worse than going to see a band live and having them stand perfectly still. So I appreciate that. I'm kind of with you there. You want to But have... you're also playing shit that's like impossible. So I can understand if you're no. like, fuck, 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 fuck. I mean, for <laughs> certain spots, we really have to stay still. But I've been doing it long enough now because we've been touring for, uh, I mean, we've been a band for 15 years. I mean, touring most of that time. Mm -hmm. It puts a toll, it puts a toll on your brain to okay. headbang that much. Fair enough. And I don't headbang a lot in comparison to other bands, but I do my part, I do enough, um, and I think I give myself brain damage. Fair enough. And I'm not even joking. I yeah. feel like, we'll walk into a venue, I'll be like, oh yeah, that's kind of familiar, and somebody, like our drummer would be like, yeah, you remember this show, uh, two years ago we played here and this happened, this happened, I'm like, yeah, I remember that, <laughs> I don't remember any of it. Hey, like I said earlier, I don't even remember what I did this morning, so. Right, right, it, right, right. Being on tour definitely doesn't help that, because I'm yeah. like, 
it's either 10 hours of nothing happening yeah. or like so many things happening in the span of half an hour that I'm like, <gasps> yeah, so. yeah. Uh, touring is, I would say not good for you. No, <laughs> definitely not. At least not for your back. It's fun. Um, one thing I want to mention before we move on is the main difference I noticed, like I was mentioning earlier and how he uh, played it for me, which again is really cool. And it's definitely all the same notes is I've seen a few covers of the song and everyone <laughs> Like the alternate pick that whole thing and okay. the way that I play it is So I'm not picking oh, anything sweet. except for the open notes Yeah, which I think is way easier personally But I guess like I don't know if maybe I just hit the hammer on so hard that it sounds like I'm picking it or something But do you palm mute the hammer ons? Yeah oh. so you get a bit of percussiveness out of that as well. Yeah, and then when it switches to the next riff it's pretty much the same. So I guess it switches to only picking the the zero and the one. So you just add in a little bit more picking. But again, it's very heavy emphasis on just hitting those hammer-ons really, really hard. Mm. That's how I play it. But I've never seen anybody else actually play it that way. They always alternate pick it. And I think that's very interesting. Cool. Hell well, yeah. good job, uh, Butcho. Yeah, thank you so much for doing that, Butcho. I appreciate you. Yeah, I love you, Butcho. Marry me. <laughs> Are you marry me, Butcho? <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, last cover we're checking out, it is uh, by, by my more. band, um, our Arch Bar. It's called Drain of Incarnation. Drain of Incarnation. And it's by... Zimmeron? Zimoron? Zimoron. Zimoron is... Uh, I don't want to call this guy an idiot, but Zimoron <laughs> is a little bit... Oh, I've seen this guy's stuff before. Uh, he's uh, in, insane. And this is a song that we've never played live before. Oh, shit, okay. Uh, and I recently learned it in the last six months or something to play it live. And we just didn't end up doing it. And I hope to play it live very, very soon. Okay. And we might play it on the tour. You have to come to see. In June. Or that's maybe they'll come and they still won't play it and you'll be disappointed. That, that's very possible. <laughs> it starts off with a bass part that our bass player, Jared, mm. wrote. And it's a very beautiful, melodic sounding thing. Is he playing it on bass? Yes. Okay. It's all tap thing. And then I play it on guitar. I match this. This is my old guitar. I used to have this guitar. The S73. I guitar. had one of those too. Yeah, it's yeah, the same one. Great guitar. Yeah. Yeah, this is a, um, it's a cool intro. It's very buildy. It's very, you know, and then it breaks into a riff that's very uh, inspired by this intro as well. It's kind of cool. Lots of double pick stuff here. Uh, that double picking is is not everybody's easiest technique. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's something well, that we do a lot. Especially with the, the like, it's a pretty big string skip as well. The, the reason why we do it a lot is because the tempos that we play are so fast that you can't really do individual note riffs all the time because it's just so fast. Yeah. So we have to double pick a lot of stuff and it just comes out as a style that we like to do. It's very interesting watching people play your music because their way that they hold their pick and their pick control is like so clean yeah. and precise because yeah. it has to be. Like it's yeah. the only way you can play that fast. There you guys, trim picking is really fast and really clean sounding. Also playing really close to the neck pickup. Is that how you play as well? No, I don't play. No, this guy's hand looks very alien to me. To, to yeah, you're more near the middle. It's just very interesting how high up it is. It's, he's doing it. Tom also has a lot of solos. I think it has four, so three or four solos. This is mine. I, have, I hybrid pick some of that stuff. I don't sweep it. This is at a time that I wanted to add more bending to my solos, mm. and I tried to force myself to do it, and that was one <laughs> of the things. Because I'm just not really a bendy guy. That's the hardest riff I've probably ever written. Jesus. But I hybrid pick all of it. Oh. Just throwing a tap in there, because oh. why not? It's a tap slide, too. No, with a sweep. Oh. Fuck's sakes. I don't know why I did that. How many techniques can you fit in yeah, half, half right, a second? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is Toby Solo, and this is mine. More bending, see a lot more bending mm -hmm. than I usually do. That's very interesting that you can pinpoint that, because you're like, ah, oh, I remember why I did that. Yeah, I, I was just in a headspace at the time, I was like, yeah, sure. more bending. Jesus. <laughs> it, was so fast. it was at a time too where I wanted to do this fast pedal tone hybrid picking thing all over the place, and I just, I just thought it was super cool. Yeah, it, it is fucking cool. I'll give you that. The endurance that you need to play that riff, I don't even know if I have it. 
because we've never played it live, honestly. Yeah, so the just even just the idea of trying to get like you need to keep your middle finger on the on the mm -hmm. string, like ready to ready to go. If you're doing any of this sort of like swooping in to grab it, you just can't get it in time. And then the sweep is. <laughs> I played it once in the demo in the pre-production. And I was like, I don't know if you've ever had this, but I, so I, the take in the pre-production was like, it sounded like lightning was striking. It's mm -hmm. like, really? It's like so clean and I've never played yeah. it. Even on the album, it doesn't sound nearly yeah. as good. I don't know what I did in that one day at home. I was like, oh, okay, I'll just whip it out real quick. And I nailed it and I've never done it again. So yeah. you'll I mean, never hear the demos, but I, it sounds <laughs> great there. Different circumstances, but that's kind of what I was mentioning with the the other cover, where it's like sometimes one of us does like a weird right. sound, and I'm like, I don't. How did you do how that? You and usually that? they're like, I have no idea. Yeah. So there's for us, luckily, since we self record, right. like there's some instances where like we just can't replicate a sound no. ever again. So we just take it from the demo because we're like, well, oh, it's, awesome. it's, it's the same guitar, it's the awesome. same DI, whatever. Yeah, that's awesome. But we're also lazy musicians, as we've uh, pointed out on this <laughs> video. <laughs> that's sweet. Well, yeah. thanks so much uh, to uh, Zamoron. Yes. Z Zimmern? Whoever you are, you know who you are. Thanks, man. Yeah. Awesome. That's great, man. Well, yeah, I'm so glad we got to check out some amazing fans of both of our bands doing covers and, like, putting in the dedicated time and practice it takes to play these songs because it's Definitely. not easy and it's also not required. No. No one's forcing them to do this. They just did it because they love the music, which yeah. is really cool. There's sometimes where I don't even want to learn my own songs. Right, and yeah, then yeah, there's yeah, people yeah. that are willing to do it for fun and I'm like, hey, fuck, more power to you. That's awesome. And do you feel do you feel a certain kind of way when you see somebody cover your music? Oh, absolutely. It's so cool. Again, like as someone who's made covers on YouTube for like a decade now. Yeah, yeah right. Oh, that's it's right. It's so yeah, cool to watch yeah. people do that. Especially um, the first example from Covers BVK where they did like everything. Yeah. Because like not that many people do like those full instrumental covers right and i know how much hard work that is so it's just like so cool to watch people spend the time on something that i was a part of creating it's very humbling for sure thank you really appreciate it catch us on tour uh in june 2024 we're gonna be hanging hanging out hey, come see us and also go check out dean's channel of course it's gonna be linked in the description all that good stuff we did a lot of content together so if you want more stuff like this on my channel or Dean's channel, there's lots more to enjoy. And like Dean said, come see us live as well. Come say hi. We'd love to see you there. We will be there. Yes, sir. All right. We'll see you later. Looking forward to reading your comments. Goodbye.